Good morning and welcome back to the New Forest on a mild late December day. Well that's the end of another year then. Where did that year go? The end of the year means it's the November-December update of the video diary showing some of the things that have been going on in the forest over the past couple of months. So let's go and see what's been happening. November had a lively start with Storm Kieran causing a lot of local flooding. It was very mild though and this carried on for the first three weeks of the month. The panaging pigs were still out eating the acorns. The deer rut was coming to an end and the red deer stags and fallow deer bucks were soon all good friends again. Thanks to Annette Gregory for these pictures of the red deer. This is a time of year of course when the forest looks at its most photogenic with the glorious autumn colours of the leaves. There was still a great variety of fungi still growing, helped I suspect by the mild autumn weather. These lovely photographs by Sarah Smith show a variety of fungi still growing in November. For those of you who believe in fairies, here's a work in progress fairy ring. I don't believe in fairies of course. Oh, what was that? This is a time of year when a lot of annual maintenance in the forest is carried out. Hedge cutting and ditch clearing are usually near the top of the list. It's also the time of year when we remember those who have given their lives in wars. Towns and villages throughout the forest held very well attended parades and services of remembrance. Towards the end of November we had a short cold spell. Before that it was time to put our banana plants to bed. I cut off the leaves and covered the stems in fleece which gives some protection against the frost. This is the latest that I've ever covered them up which shows how mild the weather's been. The cold spell lasted for a few days. Some lucky people were flying south to find some warmer weather. The end of November and beginning of December were National Tree Week and people were encouraged to get involved with tree planting. The New Forest has the highest concentration of ancient and veteran trees in Western Europe. Perhaps the most well known of these trees is the Nightwood Oak, which can be found to the west of Lyndhurst. This tree is the largest oak tree in the New Forest and is over 500 years old. There's a car park nearby and a well made path suitable for pushchairs and wheelchairs. Whilst November and December were generally mild, we did have quite a lot of rain. The second week of December was particularly wet, causing more flooding in places. Down on the coast, the winter migrant birds have arrived. Thanks to Steve Laycock for these stunning images showing a range of the birds which can currently be seen, including some wonderful images of the spoonbills. Staying on the coast, this was washed up one day at Milford on Sea. Do you know what it is? It's a Portuguese man of war. They're primarily found in tropical and subtropical oceans, but over the past few years, more and more of these poisonous organisms have washed up on beaches from Cornwall along the coast to Hampshire, mainly in the autumn months. It's not a jellyfish, although it looks similar. It has tentacles which can reach 50 metres in length and can give you a very painful sting. 
December wouldn't be December these days without outside illuminations. They really get me into the Christmas spirit. Out in the forest, the ponies are finding whatever they can to eat. These ponies are eating holly leaves. The prickles don't seem to bother them. If you're driving through the forest, please be especially careful in the dark evenings and mornings. The leaves have now fallen from the trees and the branches are bare. Soon though, the sap will start to rise and the trees will be all ready to start the seasons all over again for another year. That brings us to the end of the 2023 New Forest Video Diaries. The first diary of 2024 will be uploaded at the end of February. Come back then to see what happened at the beginning of another year. Please give us a like and consider subscribing to our channel. And thanks very much for watching. Happy New Year!